Shalom, Shalom, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Mulek, Olam. Blessed is the Lord our God, King of the heavens and the earth. Amen. Yeshua, Jesus, is Lord. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending, who was and is and is to come. He is Lord, God Almighty, Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. Amen. That's according to Isaiah 9, verse 6, Micah 5, verse 2, Revelations 1, John chapter 1, and Colossians chapter 1. They all speak of Yeshua, Jesus, as God Almighty, as God in the flesh. Amen. I believe that God was manifested in the flesh. 2 Corinthians 5.19 He was born of a virgin. Isaiah 7.14 And he lived a perfect and sinless life as the Lamb of God. Isaiah 53 And he gave himself as a willing sacrifice to pay for our sins on the cross according to Colossians chapter 2. And if you wish to be saved and reconciled to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, please confess and forsake your sins and believe that He is God, who died for us and rose again on the third day. Amen. And once we repent and believe, we will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. We will become a new creature in Christ. And we must then follow Christ, Yeshua, Jesus, according to his commandments in the New Testament Bible and continue in faith to the very end. Amen. Now with that said, today I want to talk about a Japanese TV show from 2023. And apparently the world controllers, those who propagate propaganda, felt it necessary to create some sort of predictive programming to explain away the rapture of the church and the entering into the apocalypse which is also known as Daniel's 70th week and Jacob's trouble. It is a period of seven years and it begins with a false peace covenant by the Antichrist according to Daniel chapter 9 verse 26 and 27. Now, many of us Christians already know that the plagues of Daniel's 70th week are contained in the book of Revelation, the last book in the Bible, and it basically tells us about the coming destruction that will come upon all nations. Now, this uh, show just so happens to be about, you know, going into the future, into this apocalyptic nightmare where there's no food, water, or communications. Now it's interesting that Japan has this sort of predictive programming because only 1% of the population is considered a Christian. So perhaps they're just trying to cover their bases. <laughs> Maybe it's to prevent other Japanese people from coming to Christ during the tribulation period by, you know, providing an alternate narrative other than the Bible and, and what the Bible says about the end times. And so, of course, the devil has to put this predictive programming out before uh, the actual events happen, the prophetic events that God has declared through his prophets and his apostles. And so the devil has to create this, you know, predictive programming to show that these events are coming and then he's going to spin it and say oh it's because of this or it's because of that and so i believe that this show is actually a way to explain away the biblical rapture and it's also conditioning people to accept the end of the world now the narrative of this film obviously is about a train <laughs> Now, I don't know what's up with the name of this TV series. I don't know why it's called Pending Train. <laughs> kind of just sounds like a bad translation. Uh, but basically, it's about a group of people in a certain train cart. They mysteriously vanish. The whole train cart vanishes. 
and basically goes through some sort of time loop or time portal and gets the, the whole train cart gets thrusted into the future like 50 years or something crazy like that okay i think they go into 2060 or something like that and so on one hand you have the modern day times where okay all these people go missing okay that sounds to me like the rapture predictive programming for the rapture where the bible says that the dead in christ will rise first and those who are alive will be you know suddenly changed in the twinkling of an eye the bible says is a sudden disappearance and then god's people god's remnant will vanish from the earth in the blink of an eye basically and so of course the devil has to create some sort of alternate narrative to explain this away and so he's going to say oh it was some sort of time portal some sort of high technology or, or something that thrusts these people into the future okay so this is why it's so important to have a biblical foundation uh, of understanding so that when these events actually come okay we're going to understand okay this is a prophetic event this is not just uh, some sort of phenomenon involving time travel okay because the devil would rather you believe in time travel than in bible prophecy now of course they could also say that oh the people who disappeared they were taken up to heaven or, or to a, a spaceship uh, it's not the biblical rapture this is just an alien abduction okay so the devil has different lies for different uh, people uh, depending on what you believe in and and your set of uh, principles and understanding and, and this is very similar to a decode i just did from a netflix series now this is also on netflix but a another netflix series called the society and it's about a group of young people going on a field trip and when they go on the field trip into a dark stormy night okay it's about entering into the tribulation period they come back they find out that all of their loved ones have vanished kind of like the rapture and then there's chaos and anarchy and famine and no communications very similar to this tv narrative with the pending train now if you look at netflix to see what it says about the tv series i think it's pretty telling i think it's pretty clear it's talking about the end of days apocalypse and the film itself is in japanese but there's english subtitles so it's still it's still watchable um and i haven't seen anything you know really that like bad in terms of violence or sexual content um there's a few things, but it's really not that bad in terms of, you know, being suitable for Christian values. But if we go down and look at what Netflix says it's about. It's from 2023. There's only one season so far. It says one regular Tokyo morning passengers suddenly find themselves fighting for their very survival when their train car jumps into an apocalyptic future now in the tv show they find out that oh the world is completely destroyed because of some sort of asteroid or meteor shower or some sort of huge space debris that wipes out the countries now the bible says a lot more is going to happen than just a meteor shower okay there's going to be wars there's going to be plagues there's going to be famine there's going to be all sorts of craziness but revelations 8 i believe it also talks about uh, meteors and asteroids coming from the heavens and uh, it rains down fire and judgment upon various nations so this is uh, quite literally a biblical a prophecy in a non-christian tv series and here you see that the train car somehow jumps into the future where the land is a barren wasteland okay now i don't know specifically what the fate is for japan whether they're going to get hit by a nuke in world war three or whether whether a huge asteroid will hit japan or a huge tsunami i don't know exactly what kind of judgments god has prepared for them but definitely i think that japan's probably going to be 
judge pretty harshly, kind of like America. Um, they have a lot of ungodly, you know, of course, you know, pagan shrines and temples, but they also have a lot of uh, filthy anime TV and movies, and that gets circulated around uh, around the different nations, sort of polluting the minds of the masses. But if we continue and see what else it's about. It says, after a commuter train suddenly accelerates into a tunnel, the passengers in one of its car loses consciousness and awakens in a desolate landscape. And it says, after uh, Kayashima discovers the drinks from the car in the forest are missing, he joins Shirihama, Kato, and Hatano in search for a source of water. So there's no food, there's no water, you know, there's no survival, means of survival, really. Uh, it's like a barren wasteland, kind of like Mad Max or something, uh, sort of like a, an apocalyptic wasteland. And so, you know, I think that is uh, painting a pretty clear picture of Daniel's 70th week. And it's like they're trying to find their way back to their original time period again because the original time period you know the news is talking about all these missing people just like the news would talk about a bunch of people missing when the rapture happens and so it's sort of left up in the air as to what happened to these people and they have they basically have funerals for the missing train cart passengers and basically just write them off as, you know, somehow mysteriously dying or something. And so uh, they want to, the, the people who are thrusted into the apocalypse, they want to go back in time to their original time uh, so that they could meet up with their loved ones and tell them that they're still alive, maybe warn them of the future that is uh, going to come, which I believe is, is about to begin any moment with World War Three and the collapse and everything. But it says here, episode 5, card number 6's de facto leader pleads with Shirihama's group to work together, return their original time, and warn the world of an impending calamity. Okay, so, you know, once the world enters into the tribulation period, there's no going back. Okay, it's like crossing the Rubicon. It's like crossing into the point of no return. The prophetic time clock starts and there'll be seven years of hell on the earth and there's going to be a bunch of missing people or probably actually a small few uh, um, amount of missing people who are going to be taken up in the rapture event. And that's why Jesus said to watch and pray always that we are counted worthy to escape what is to come to uh, the world you know what is to come to pass and to stand before the son of man in luke 21 verse 36 so i pray that we are rapture ready i pray that god will spare us from this impending disruption this impending flood of judgments okay just like noah was taken into the ark and spared from the flood okay we also know that lot was taken out of sodom and gomorrah and spared from the fire in the brimstone. So when the 1% of Japan's population goes missing, those Christians, okay, they're going to have to explain away what happened with some sort of paranormal event. And of course, they're not going to go to Bible prophecy. They're going to say, oh, maybe it was aliens. Maybe it was some sort of time portal. Maybe it was you know, a, a dimensional shift, or who knows what kind of lie they will have. And uh, so, don't fall for the lie, okay? Trust in the Lord Jesus, trust what the Bible says, okay? The prophecies have proven themselves, because if it weren't true, the prophecies would not come to pass, but there's countless, countless prophecies that are showing themselves to be true over the course of history, his story, God's story, and so we could trust in it and, and believe in the promises of God. And uh, I hope to see you all in heaven very soon. And shalom until next time. Amen.